because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I, I never shut, shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV, oh, proudly no. sponsored by Everlast. Get, Get that smile out. Get that smile out. Get them glossy ones out. Johnny Clark, top tier manager, top tier promotions. Your first ever show, and what a show it was. How you feel? How you feeling? You must be buzzing. Yeah, there you go, mate. Yeah, I am buzzing. Like, I can't lie. I am over the moon. Everything fell in place. Um, a little hiccup on the way with uh, uh, LED, but we come through, and yeah, I'm I'm buzzing now. Yeah, that was a shame with the LEDs, but the pyro throughout the night more than made up for it. And I feel like just speaking to whether it being prospects, the journeymen, throughout the night they really felt special and they felt looked after. And I know going into this fight night that was what you was going for. And you said it says on your Instagram, if you want the, your fighters to feel like pay-per-view stars on small hall shows. Hundred percent. Like each and everyone who steps in that ring, they deserve to be looked after. Because it's something that I couldn't do. I don't like dieting, I don't like going for runs either. So I wouldn't ever do that. So from top to bottom, I thought, let me look after them. Let me make them feel special. And then with that, listen, it helps them sell the tickets as well. Because they want people to see them be treated like that as well. Um, and as you can see, near enough a sellout. The crowd was buzzing. And uh, I think the tournament got to grips with everyone. And yeah, it kicked off. Statement by name, statement by nature. You really feel like you made your mark on the British boxing promotion scene tonight? Yeah, the brand is definitely out there now. So now I've just got to think of the name of the second event, what follows up the statement. So when, when can we expect to see that second event? Because you're really going to want to kind of get some really notoriety between all, especially this Oxford, Essex boxing crowd, because they really got behind it tonight, didn't they? Yeah, so 17th of June. <laughs> The uh, reason is like every quarter really is because I want to build in between the fights. I don't want to do one e every week. I want to put my all into it and to do that, I'm going to need a bit of time. So what's the next one? It'll be bigger and better and uh, I'm looking forward to promoting it because that, that's what I want to do. I don't just want to give a boxer a ticket and say, go and sell that. I want to promote the show so people want to buy tickets from the boxers, from myself, from the company. So. So it's a case of quality over quantity then? Yeah, 100%. Give it a good run, um, good space in between, and then everything will fall into place and the brand will get bigger and better every time. Let's talk about the tournament then. It really failed to disappoint. Ryan Maycock really come out from the first round to the last round of the final. He was on it, wasn't he? And he surprised a lot of people in there tonight. He did indeed. He didn't surprise me. I knew how good he was. Um, powerful. That's what I'd have to say about him. Very powerful, yeah, and awkward. A little left, he's an awkward boy. So, uh, yeah, like people were talking about Kev's performance, but for me, I think Ryan uh, deserves the credit because he stepped up. And I've got to say, Ozzy was in one of the hardest, toughest, best four-rounders I've ever seen. I saw you speaking before the fight. You said that it was kind of a last-minute thing. A stepped up, 50-50 fight. That's what we like to see at this level of boxing. And that fight really delivered, didn't it? Well, you see what it done to the arena there. And if more people follow their footsteps, you get more nights like that. And for me, I know there's a way of building boxes and that. But when it comes to it, they're both decent. They both had a good crack. They're both 2-0. and and listen, fight of the night for me, and everyone was talking about it to me, so, yeah, credit to them. Just going through the card then, you've got Jimmy Croxton, great to see him back out, Danny Dignam, just what we, what were your other highlights of the night, mate? Uh, I enjoyed uh, Maria Melianx's performance, and uh, Nicola Bark as well, she was ecstatic when she won. Uh, yeah, but Jimmy Croxton, very nice to see him with a smile on his face, and Danny Dignam come back from his loss with a KO win over the German. Just to finish up then, I know you're the face behind it, or you're the man that does all the hard work, but it's not just you. You've got the whole team behind you. Any thanks you should like to give before we close up? Yeah, special thanks to Simon Leg, the whip there. Uh, made, made it a lot, lot easier for me. Um, takes off the stress. Um, Abdul as well, he runs about for me, non-stop, stressing, 
He's a bit angry tonight, but he needs to calm down. Right. <laughs> I've never seen Abdul like that with Evo's LEDs. Oh, was that No, no, I was a bit shook. <laughs> um, Stick him on the next one. Yeah, and then we've got Ian, obviously, just to help the boxers get to the hotel, get to the airports. Ian and his black cabbies come in and made them feel special. And when you come from France, Spain, Bulgaria, and you get picked up in the black cab, it's part of the night for him. So, yeah, thank you to him. Lee, quickly come in. Quickly come in. How proud are you of this man tonight? I'm like a proud father. <laughs> no, this is unbelievable. Like, like I said to you on that interview, um, one, for a first show, it's like a, a season for a veteran promoter. Um, unbelievable setup, promoted it right, done everything about it. Um, great sponsorship, great lighting, just everything about the show. The tournament was un unbelievable. And listen, he's going to have a, a very good career in promoting. And I wish him all the best. And I'll be there by his side if he needs any help. We know you're not promoting anymore, but we're going to see uh, plenty of your fighters on these cards, aren't we? Yeah, 100%. Listen, we're all good. Let's go management fighters are going to be on every card. We're here to take over. Let's go. <laughs> Lee, Johnny, thank you very much for being to IFL TV and thank you on behalf of anyone well, who was here at the Brentwood Centre tonight. A fantastic show. Well done and put on. Thank you very much. Cheers, Lee. to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I, I never shot, shot up at it. And it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We need their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 